Hey everybody, so today's topic is going to be on ear infections. And specifically, I'm gonna talk about uh, the differences between the two main types of ear infections. Um, so these are basically uh, outer ear infections, or what we call otitis externa, or middle ear infections, what we call otitis media. Um, and the difference in the infection is basically where the infection is going on. Um, so external or outer ear infections are outside of the eardrum. So in the ear canal, and even potentially extending out to the auricle or the outer ear. Um, the middle ear infections are gonna be uh, infections present behind the eardrum on the other side. Um, so what are these two infections, uh, you know, how do they present and what kind of symptoms do they have? So for outer ear infections, uh, you know, typically these can start uh, after a patient gets water in their ear or goes swimming. Um, sometimes it happens after people use Q-tips or put something down in their ear. And the typical symptoms are, you know, ear pain, uh, swelling, pressure, and muffled hearing. But a lot of times we also see a drainage dripping out of the ear. Uh, so there's, there's visible drainage that patients are able to see on their pillows and things like that. Uh, and outer ear infections can either be bacterial infections or sometimes they can be fungal infections. Um, fungal infections tend to be a little bit more itchy and irritated, whereas the bacterial infections tend to be more painful and more swollen. But that's, that's sort of a general rule, but not an ironclad rule. Uh, and then the, typically the treatment for outer ear infections is going to be antibiotic drops that you put directly into the ear, uh, because that's right where the problem is. Um, and in compl more complicated and severe cases, sometimes we also need to do antibiotics by mouth. Uh, so if we switch over to the topic of middle ear infections or otitis media, so this now is infections that happen behind the eardrum. So some of the symptoms are similar. Um, obviously there's pain in the ear, there's pressure, uh, there's muffled hearing, but usually in an uncomplicated middle ear infection, there's no drainage out of the ear, uh, unless the eardrum ruptures, in which case there's obviously bleeding and lots of drainage. So uh, middle ear infections commonly happen as a result of uh, nasal congestion, allergies, colds, and, and things like that that cause the, no the nose and the ear to become clogged up and not able to drain properly. Uh, and what happens is the space behind the eardrum uh, gets filled with fluid and then that fluid becomes infected. Uh, so the treatment for middle ear infections is normally gonna be antibiotics by mouth, uh, sometimes with actually steroid medication as well to help swelling and inflammation get better and for the ear to uh, decongest and open up. Um, and obviously for patients who are having recurrent or repeated episodes of otitis media, uh, sometimes in that case we actually put tubes in the ears to help open, make an opening through the eardrum and to prevent that fluid from building up. So anyway, I hope that gives you a little insight into the differences between uh, outer ear and middle ear infections. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.